We've all heard of the things that people try to do to get into rentals. When it comes to that winning application, what do we really need to do? Do I need to improve my baking skills? Do agents prefer peanut butter or chocolate baked goods? Today, I'm going to be interviewing property managers Sam and Kurt, who have swatted away hundreds of baked goods from rental applicants. This is Rent Busters. So what are the key things you're looking for in a good tenant? Can they pay the rent? Can they look after the property? And are they relatively nice people? All comes back to rental histories as well. How important is having a fully completed one for? So important. You know, if I've got two, three, four, ten applications on a property, the ones that aren't completed are probably just going straight to the bottom of the pile. All property managers would love you. Do pets impact your chances of getting into a rental? Look, it can go both ways. I had a the landlord once who worked for the RSPCA. She wouldn't allow a tenant to live in the property without a pet. What's the strangest pet you've seen come with an application? Five metre long snake. Horse. A horse? Yeah. In like metro areas? Sort of. And they're amazing tenants. Wow. What happens when you have to go and inspect the property? They need to be home. Do you have to work full time to be a renter? No, definitely not. We've got tenants who don't work at all. What if your reference is your mum? Mums often just will be like, yeah, she's great. She's gonna, I'm going to go around and clean it. But I did have one mum once who was just like, no, my, no, my son is putrid. I also had one, someone once whose dad was his employment reference and he's like, look, he won't necessarily be employed here for that much longer. For more information on locking in that dream rental, head to realestate.com.au slash rent.